This is Jonathan Landay in Baghdad, Iraq. The threat of attacks by Sunni fanatics of the Islamic State failed to deter millions of Shiites from marching in processions around Iraq, marking one of their sect's most sacred days. The day known as Ashura saw bombings in years past by the Islamic State and its forerunner, Al-Qaeda in Iraq. This year, it passed off without major bloodshed, giving a boost to the new Shiite Prime Minister, Haider al-Abadi. Ashura marks the death of Imam Hussein, the Prophet Muhammad's grandson, in the Battle of Karbala in 680 AD. Shiites revere him as a symbol of sacrifice. The battle sealed the split between Shiites and Sunnis that's fueling the bloodshed in Iraq and Syria today. Security was tight across Baghdad for the Ashura processions. Men and boys beat their backs with chains to the beat of drums in mourning for Imam Hussein. One Baghdad procession ended in a dusty soccer field by the Tigris River. There, before a crowd of several thousand, costumed men and boys reenacted the Battle of Karbala.